Tater, you've lasted so long. But how long can you last? It's time once again for the Real People Multigame Solitaire Mega Tournament. We're still playing this War of Mine, and things are still looking rather bad. I think worse than they have for Tater um, yet. Partially, so most of the game, a lot of these turns, it seemed like, like Tater has someone new who came along who is in bad shape, and then she has to take care of everything. That's happened uh, a number of times, maybe twice, but it seems like it happens a lot. But And usually she has like at least two actions where she can do things, oftentimes three. Right now she only has one action. So there's one action for the whole group um, and a number of different problems to deal with. So you can see the problems here. Hunger, that one is not going to be a big problem to deal with. Fatigue, not a big problem. Illness, that's the big problem. And I say a number of problems, but the illness one is the most pressing. And there's no really like obvious way to deal with that. Uh, she doesn't have, we, we've been strapped for components in wood for a long time. Uh, it would be nice if we had Desi around to poke about and get us more of those. It just doesn't seem like it's it's worth worth it to use a turn just to get some components and then possibly just die anyway. Um, she won't e even be able to go scavenging. I think she has to go out and get someone else to, to come along and help. So let's go see who that's going to be. And again, since there's just two of them again, we get to turn one up until we get an arrival from the visitor deck. And there's fewer and fewer arrivals left even. Doctor, are there any more arrivals left? Here we go. All right, we have a wounded stranger. That's not good. I mean, it's good someone came. Wounds are... Actually, wounds wounded isn't the worst one to happen right now since we do have a bevy of bandages. We have two bandages, which is quite a lot. And that stranger is Pavel, the soccer player. Now, who did I have be the soccer player? I think I remembered that, but... I remember it was a... Uh... Kaz and Cat. Yeah, that's right. She's kind of sporty. Let's get Kat out. Kat has seen a lot of time, face time in the Real People Multigame Solitaire Mega Tournament. I think, feel like we all know her and her adorable child. Um, hopefully she doesn't uh, repeat the trend of immediate death. It's kind of like, like a Black Widow situation with Tater or like a curse or something where whoever she makes friends with and almost immediately dies. Um, but maybe Cat will break that trend. She has shown a lot of fortitude in the past, and I expect her to, to show something here. Um, at least I hope. She comes with a lot of food. Uh, vegetables, which we already are full of vegetables. Now what we could do, would it be... When can you do the vegetables? Could we just say we give three vegetables to this these people? And then Cat brings three vegetables back? Why not? That's a little cheap, but I'm okay with that. Okay, here we go. When feeding the people, the question came up, uh, should we even bother to feed Cowboy? He's probably going to die. Um, they decided to go ahead and feed him with vegetables, not with raw food. Raw food lowers your hunger. Um, vegetables just keeps it the same. That seemed like a fair compromise. Um, Cat also just took vegetables because her hunger was was neutral. So they're going to eat. And now we have to decide where people are going to go. Cowboy, I guess technically he could go somewhere, couldn't he? I don't, I don't know. Actually, I should check to see if you have no actions. Can you go out and do things? I was kind of assuming you couldn't, but maybe the rules have something to say about that. Yep, it does turn out you can still do things as far as I'm reading the rules briefly. Um, Ka is going out to explore. Now, Name of the game is meds here. We need some meds for um, for poor cowboy who is very sick. Uh, we And, you know, if we found water, that honestly would be really nice. There's a lot of things we could use. But, so where, where should she go? You might think she want to go to the closest place, but it's a place called Sniper Junction that has some sort of a, event that you resolve when you first get there, which I think is maybe shooting at Ka. And so I think she's going to go to the quiet house instead because the quiet house has meds there it's not very likely that you'll get meds but at least it's possible so let's explore together the quiet house 
Since Kat is such a curious person, she decided to return two cards to look around. Here's what she got. A man who lived here used to give shelter to people in need. He either died or fled after his home was ravaged by mortar fire. Since then, the house has stood abandoned, and neighborhood kids say that it's haunted. It's deserted. We don't expect to meet anyone inside. So we have to return three exploration cards. That's really rough. So she's returned a total of five. So she's going to be down to seven there. During this scavenging, the noise cannot be higher than four. That's actually pretty nice there, um, which means the chances of someone getting her is lower, right? If you can't go higher than four. Okay. Tough luck. Roll for noise. Okay. It's actually good luck that I gave, got that card earlier. Search the furniture. Raise the noise by one and roll for noise. She's not going to return an exploration card. She's going to raise the noise. Roll for noise. Um, while we're looking at this supply pallet, I just want to know anything without weight she took with her. Just plus. No noise. All right. Let's get, let's see. Let's come on. Let's get some meds. Here's some meds right here. Meds! Woo! Okay, so we got, and we got a lock pick. That's something we haven't had in a while. Um, and some sugar. I will come back to you. Closed door. There is a closed door here. So she can pick the lock, requires a lock pick. She does have a lock pick, and she could get five exploration cards. Uh, yeah, I think she will. The, if she picks any of these doors in here, then we have to deal with a rubble, and we just haven't seemed to have time to deal with a rubble. So let's go ahead and pick this lock. We need a five or five to ten. Oh, she can't pick it, so that's not going to matter. She has to keep going. Someone's here. Raise the noise by three. Uh -uh, I'm only raising it by two. It can't go higher than, than that. All right. Search the heap. Return to exploration cards and raise the noise by one. Um, she's almost at her maximum amount that she can carry. Oh, no. She's got, she can carry two more heavy things. Well, she can't raise the noise by one, but I don't know if she wants to roll for noise either. Yeah, I think Kat is going to be more cautious to search this heap. In our heap, we have a broken pistol, some ammo. That's kind of disappointing. And some more chems. Chems stand for chemicals, I believe. There's a broken pistol. I see it right here. And some ammo. That was easy to get all of that. Chimkonk. And let's keep going. Search the heap. So if she's going to search the heap, she has to, has to, has to roll for noise. Here we go. Ready? Um, she's got what she came for. I think she's going to just pass up the heap and see what's next. A hideout. Okay. So she is coming back. Um where we have two people on guard duty. I know I didn't put them both on the guard duty space, but that's because the real people cards are bigger than the characters. I guess I could put that there. If that makes you feel better. Um, here comes a night raid. It's a bunch of looters. Okay, this is our first time with uh, two people on duty. They have a hatchet and a shotgun. Um, all right, so I guess we just roll, right? And um, Cowboy has the shotgun. No. Tater has the shotgun. Cowboy has the hatchet. It's three, three blooms. Boom, boom, boom. Um, unfortunately, Cowboy cannot re-roll that. She could re-roll this, but three seems to be pretty good. If you look at the die faces, the only thing that's better is this thing. And I don't know what the ellipse is. I forget. But, so she got three. So she's going to remove the three wounds, I think. And we're going to lose some expensive things like a hatchet and lose four things. Let's do we have something. Ignore all wounds from a single combat or ignore all wounds from a night raid. It's not a lot of night raids. Oh, play during any combat or during your backstab if you're using a firearm. Discard one ammo or play during... Uh, oh, yeah, we're just going to get rid of the whole thing entirely. We'd rather not lose stuff. And we have ammo, right? Yeah, got plenty of ammo. So we'll just discard the ammo. We just shot him in the head. No more looters. And that's not going to be an issue. And this is when we removed the card from the game. Okay. That fits because we shot him in the head. 
So now Kat's got to come back and we'll see what our fate is. You know what, you know the drill, right? You know what we're doing. You know the flow of the game. You're up to speed. Let's do it. All right, what do we got? Raise the illness of all characters who did not take any meds by one. They took meds if they're sick. If they're sick. So Cad does not have to do that. Heal the wounds of all characters who had bandages by one. This is looking good. Discard bandage tokens from all characters. That's not so good. We need fresh bandages, but we have them. Um, if cold tokens minus board ups equals five, it is raise the illness of all characters by one. That's not good. Oh, shoot. Didn't think about that. Yeah, we dealt with the, the disease with the meds. Raise the illness. Oh. Yeah, it didn't actually fix the disease at all, did it? It just w kept it stable. So, illness epilogue. C-285. I don't think we're going to go through that because Cowboy's not even leaving us for good. He's just going to be losing 400-some um, points. I, I have to look at how many turns he's been around. Okay, I'm going to finish. Oh, well, we'll do the spirit effects. No effect for her. her. Um, do we have a coffee? Are we out of coffee? I think we might be out of coffee. Oh, well, you know what? I never gave Kat any special things for when she started. I forgot to do that. Um, flips, I didn't forget. Flips did not have any special things. What does? What are Kaz's special things? Sports! Ah, that might be why she's Pavlo. Um, what would it be a sporty thing that you would start with here? Maybe a can of food? She got a can of food because she's a sports person? I don't know. Oh, herbal meds. Yeah, herbal meds. Give her herbal meds because she's a sports person. Um, but unfortunately, Cowboy's not out of the tournament, but he is out of the game. Uh, they gave it a try, wasted some medicine on him, wasted some vegetables on him, and now he's just going to up and die. That's a fine how do you don't. It's not a fine how do you don't. It's not fine. It's not okay. All right. I'm getting mad. Um, so I got to deal with this now. I got to... Go and change his score. All because he had to up and die. He had to get too sick. He got too cold. He couldn't put on a blanket. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just really tired of people dying. And I'm I'm tired of I'm tired of people leaving the tournament. I'm glad Cowboy didn't leave the tournament, but I was really he brought a lot of light to this place, and I was really hoping he would stay around for a little bit, at least a few more turns, if not till the end. I would have loved it if Cowboy had gotten to the end of this game. I mean, I would love it if they all did, right? But it's like people show up. They're all sick. Oh, they're dead. God. Okay, Crime Wave. Place this card in the Night Raids. So now we got to do two Night Raids. There we go. That's fun, right? Okay. Um... So what are we looking at here? We got two actions now. Kat has two actions. Um, Tater still has just one because she's still sick and now she's getting rather tired too. She might need to rest. What's fatigue three look like? It's fatigue three, you can't even move? Is this fatigue three? No, fatigue three is okay. But she would like to keep some fatigue so she can mitigate her misery. So she maybe she should just take a nap. Is there anything else we can work on? We could make a, we could get some components. We probably need to get a new person to come, right? Um, yeah, and that's probably better for her to do than Kat, because Kat's already so wounded. But then again, we only have one, one set of bandages left, so maybe Kat needs to go outside, get a new person to die. And uh, Trader as in Tot can... She could make a, a shovel. Should we start digging through stuff again? We did get this card. I did this off camera. Duty, which can remove some rubble. Um, she could also sleep. She only has one action. Better make it count. See, I don't want to make a shovel because we are so low on components in the first place. I would like to eventually make something to give us some water because we are so freaking thirsty. We would sure love some water. Um, hmm. Let me think about this. I'm, it's not helping for me to talk right now. I gotta just think.
Okay, here's what she's doing. She's gonna use this special thing, duty, her sense of duty. She's really gotten attached to this place and she's sick of it looking like trash. So she's gonna get rid of some trash with her duty power, which makes her really tired. Um, I have a fatigue three somewhere else. She's at fatigue three. We'll just find that later. And then we'll get to just remove this card. And then she could use her action to just search that heap right there. And maybe she should. She can sleep in the bed tonight. Because we'll hopefully have someone else who can do something. So we search this. Oh my gosh, look at all the components. That is a good sight, isn't it? It makes us feel happy to see all those components and some wood. We could probably even build something now. All right, let me fish that out. And yeah, we'll do the visitors. Nope, I gotta do some shuffling for that. We're not gonna do the visitors card right now. So we actually depleted all the arrival cards from here. So I think the game is saying, hey, you're getting all the people you're gonna get. But I am saying no, because I have four more people who could, from the real people multi-game solitaire mega tournament who are waiting to play this game. And we are changing the rules anyway. So we are just gonna go ahead and draw. These are just the arrival cards. So what I'm gonna say is if they're down to two people, they can draw from here. Oh, I gotta see if Kat gets shot, actually. She got shot. Why did I send her out there? Oh yeah, because I only have one set of bandages. Suffers two wounds. Shoot, that is harsh. Oh, to ignore all wounds from a single combat roll. It's not a combat roll. Can't do a close call on that. Okay, well she still found someone. It is a grim and silent stranger. So this is the miserable one, which is kind of the preferable one to get, except that we are so low on water that they will probably soon die. By low, I mean we don't have any. Um, and so let's see who's coming. Marco, the firefighter. I'm pretty sure that's Smudge, right? Because Smudge is the mall Santa, and there wasn't really a job that fit that, but I thought he would, you know, like to be a firefighter. Yeah. Smudge is the firefighter. Let's see what he can do. He's got a hatchet. We can knock those doors down. That's pretty good. All right. Smudge built a rainwater collector right here down in the basement. I think it's a good spot to collect rainwater. Now we got to see if people are hungry or depressed as a result of not having any water right now. Um, Kat couldn't do any more actions because she got shot. Uh, and that lowered her actions to zero. So one through five, we'll say is misery or is... Is it misery? We'll say one through five is misery, six through 10 is hunger. Six through 10 is hunger for Ka. Now we'll go to smudge. Here's, no, we'll do tater as in tot next because this could kill smudge. Tater, one through five is misery. So she is getting close to being wholly miserable. And I think we gotta go into here. All right, finally smudge. So if he gets a one through five, he's commits suicide. He's just hungry. Great. All right, so let's look at our hunger issues. I'm gonna do this off camera. You don't wanna watch me do this. I'm gonna get set up and I'll meet you back at scavenging. Okay, Smudge is gonna do some scavenging. We're gonna go about things a little differently. Um, we've got a lot of stuff, but we don't have the stuff we want. So he is gonna bring along some sugar too. You're not using it. Bring some sugar along. And um, this, this card has a, we're going to military outpost, which is a little troubling, since usually when we meet someone in the military, they try to shoot us, but we're gonna trade. Um, so I'm gonna turn to the right page, and he's got a lot of stuff to trade. Anything without weight from here, he could also trade him, just assuming he's bringing it all. Um, and if he dies, I will discard all that stuff. Um, so, let's go to trading. Attempting to trade with the soldiers is always risky. One day we interact with them like regular people. We chat, exchange gossip, smoke cigarettes. On another day, however, we become the object of their mockery or something worse. Everything depends on who we happen to meet, what they had to do that day, and whether they've been drinking. We can buy any red, green, or yellow tokens here. See journal trade sheet. Um, the reds are the weapons. The greens are kind of the, um, the goods that are or luxury goods, I guess, coffee, sugar, cigarettes, alcohol. Um, though I guess food counts as that too. So we could get some canned food, which would be really nice. And the yellow is things like medicine, which I think we will get some medicine. So luckily we have this army deals thing going on. So it's kind of appropriate that Smudge went here to trade where it makes um, cigarettes, moonshine, alcohol, and most importantly, jewelry, 
worth five more. So we got two jewelries, that's 30. So I think we can get probably what we need just with that. 30, we'll buy some meds. That's 10, and so the trade commission is zero, so it's a straight up, straight up, straight up trade. We don't have to do anything else. Um, some canned food, that's 25 already. So we're almost out of stuff. Um, Five dollars worth of something else. Could buy a vegetable, or we could get rid of something else. And also, so you brought a cigarette along. The cigarette is raised by five, so that's six. So we have thirty-six there. We sell this too. So then we could get. Um, what did I say it was twenty-five. So we could get a raw food. It's not bad. Um, whoops, that should be over here. And Smudge can carry that. Oh yeah, I brought this sugar along because I don't know what it's good for. So, um, 36, 39, 42, and then we'll, we'll get some, is that the cost of, yeah, okay, so even buying those, those green things is, or those luxury goods is also more expensive. 42, so I'm gonna finish doing this and then Smudge will have a little bit of exploration he can do, but not much. He's gonna have four cards worth, so. Stairs down, look for another way or enter, raise noise by three and roll for noise. We gotta just enter. Oh, you know what? That's bad because we triggered something, but I also need to, there was something at the end of this, this thing here. Um, so we gotta roll to see if they bother us. Okay, so, seven, okay, so, we leave the military outpost with any, without any problems. So now, we're gonna have to deal with whatever resident this is though, because we did roll a two before. Some thugs. How many thugs is it? Five. So there's two thugs. And we'll say this guy, he's a C, so he has an assault rifle, and B has a pistol. Okay. So, hold on, there's a cat bothering me, and then we'll do combat. Okay, let's do it. Everyone has a gun. Everybody. It's all a bunch of guns. These, oh, wait. No, I wasn't supposed to draw this. Okay. Okay. We got to go to a book and set. Sorry, I keep, I keep. Uh, messing up. I think it's because I'm so distraught about losing Cowboy, um, which I don't know why that bothers me so much. It's not like he, he's, again, he's not out of the tournament. I don't know. I mean, it's just a general, the building up of loss is just kind of getting, getting to be a bit much, but all right. Let's go to page beer, 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 and read something. Armed guards notice us. Stop or we'll blow your brains out. We have no chance to resist. We have to give everything we've got. We do what they say, but they kick and punch us anyway. Remove all tokens from the findings pile. Distribute two wounds among the characters present. Back to scavenging. Oh my gosh. Finish the scavenging. So it's like if they find you, you're just done. You should have never gone in there. We lost all that stuff. And we lost all this stuff that has no weight too. Because remember I said that was going along. Um... So probably not the bandages. Bandages I would have put on there. Oh, okay. I got to clear a bunch of things away. That was a big, big, sad waste. We lost a lot of things there. And we're probably going to lose Smudge, too. I mean, really, we, he doesn't have band. We don't have any more bandages. We don't have more oh, he has his own bandages. He has his own private bandages. Bandage yourself up. Okay. Well, I don't think we'll go back there again. Um... Now we have a crime wave, so two different things are gonna come out. Oh, memories, good, I'm glad that's one of them. Draw and resolve two, nine. and then rugged hoodlums. All right, um, let's do the rugged mo hoodlums first, and then we'll do the memories. Okay, so they could take a lot more of our stuff. She has a gun with her, with ammo. So that didn't get taken. I should probably take care of getting rid of all this other stuff. Lost her cigarette. 
some chems, a nice book. And I think that's all the other stuff that didn't have weight. Oh, she would have had the ammo with her. Okay, rugged hoodlums. She's got to roll. She could trust fate and see if something special happens or roll again. I think we're going to trust fate. It's been so good to us. Headshot. Target suffers three wounds. That's good. Okay. Thank you, fate. Um, so... We could ignore all these wounds and then just decrease the amount that they take from us with this close call thing. That's not a bad idea. Okay, so yeah, they're going to take three things. We'll take a hatchet. She had a hatchet with her. I don't like to have to move everything around all the time. It's just a lot of busy work, so I just kind of know in my mind and my heart. Um, the vegetables were gone, weren't they? And... So do they start with, starting with green tokens. Okay. So they take the food. Lost all our food today. Sugar. And then after green tokens, do I just pick whatever? Oh, you know, I assume they would take the, the hatchet. I think they would take the hatchet. I mean, hatchets are really useful. All right. Well, now the nice thing is we don't have so many things clogging up our sight line. So... Things are definitely more organized now. And we're going to go on to some memories. And her misery is at three. These are going to be some intense memories. And I hope you're ready for it because it's going to be great. All this shelling, sniper fire, and lack of supplies. It just makes you want to hide away, sit down, and cry. But we can't let them crush our spirits. We have to show them what they can't take that they can't take away our dignity. It's difficult here. But you know how we did it on our street? No, that's where it ends. Back to the game. Time for some fate, some narrative actions, and we're out. All right, raise the illness of all cab. Heal the. Oh, we get to heal some wounds. See, things can, things can go up and down. And you just gotta understand during the down that it will go up again. You don't want it to go too far down. Discard all bandage tokens from all characters. Now we don't have any band-aids, but we might be able to get more. Uh, raise the illness on everyone by one. Okay, we'll do that. Just got to remember that she is at three illness now. Um, do this thing, this thing. Discard one coffee. She just died. And so did Smudge. Don't have to worry about her illness anymore. Yeah. Oh wait, no, Smudge did not die. No one is at level three hunger. But Tater has in has been through this whole game. It finally succumbed. She just couldn't take it anymore. So let's go ahead and give her a fitting epilogue. Even though she's not leaving the real people multi-game solitaire mega tournament because she's gotten by seven turns now. So that's going to be enough for her to uh, not totally go to negative 750. She's, it's going to hurt her in the tournament, though. It'll be like dick. It'll be hard for her to come back. But um, let's go ahead and eulogize Tater, and then we'll, we'll just say goodbye after that. Or we won't even say goodbye. We'll just be done talking. One night, alone and unnoticed, Amelia took off. Years after the war, strange as it may seem, she resurfaced abroad working as a corporate lawyer. Discard one vegetable, raw food, or canned food from the storage. Remove this character from the game. Back to game. So that's kind of nice. Um, after, after all that, she didn't actually die. She just abandoned the thing, which I could see why. I mean, it was just a cycle of sorrow for poor Tater, and she really worked hard. But... Nothing happened. Oh, you know what? While I'm over here by Tater, I know this is momentous. She's gone off, but she's gone. We have to we have to keep our focus here. She's gone. She decided to leave. She wanted to think about herself and not about smudging and Kaz and Cat and Kaz and Cat's little baby. But um, I did use, I did this off camera. I used that um, Night Owl card to give Smudge two more actions last turn, and he put some weight 
tokens here. So that means we're going to get to roll for some water, something we have not had for a long time. So you got to roll twice on this table. Four water plus another three water. So we're getting the maximum water, six water. Great. We'll be well hydrated next time on the Real People Multi-Game Solitaire Mega Tournament. We are playing this War of Mine, and it is the English Lake. And goodbye.